want to speak? Do I have something really clear that I have formed to say? And then once I do have something clear, speaking it. And then um, weight goes really well, it pairs with the 80-20 rule, which is that generally when we're in a meeting of this kind, we want to spend 80% of the time listening very intentionally, and maybe 20% of the time thinking about speaking. But 20% of the time thinking about speaking doesn't necessarily mean we will speak 20% of the time. That would be actually a lot of time. Um, and it's generally good to assume competency and, um, and good intention on the part of everybody who's in the room. We're all here to support each other and get some really good stuff done. And um, anything else that I'm missing with that stuff? Um, yeah, step up, step back. So one of the things we also use is we use a, a, um, a What's the term? Uh, something like that. Progressive stack, excuse me, which, which generally we want to make sure that new voices get a chance to speak, um, perhaps sometimes more or more easily than people who've been here a lot and get the opportunity to speak uh, quite often. And also, traditionally marginalized voices get the opportunity to speak um, because sometimes if you're in a very privileged role like I am, it's really easy to speak you know, in front of large groups and uh, we, we assume you've got the power to do that kind of thing. So we, we try and exercise those things, and that's things that the staff keepers will, will try to employ. Great. Um, uh, I was going to say one more thing for stack. Uh, me and Chris will be doing it. If you want to say something, please raise your hand and make eye contact with us, and we'll give you a number sign <coughs> so that you'll know where you are on staff. Great. <coughs> um, let's see here. I think I think that's what we got. Um, so that was most of our welcome here. Any final clarifying questions about that kind of stuff? Is uh, the stack limited five? Yes. We're maintaining a stack of five. If uh, five people speaking on the subject is not enough to really get to the heart of what's going on, there can be a motion to extend stack, in which case we'll open another stack of five. But also keep in mind that we're again trying to move really quickly through things. So we may end up tabling things that clearly there's a lot of controversy about, and then those things can go back to percolating and working through smaller groups of people um, outside of GA, so that when it comes back to GA, we have a better sense <laughs> of what we really feel about something, and then trying to, to vote it for. So, any other clarifying questions? Um, I, I really hope that this meeting can be fun. There's a lot of people here. There's a lot of great faces. I'm so excited to see everybody. And I'm going to try and make it relatively fun. I hope that we can all understand that we're trying to get a lot done, but also keep this thing moving so that we're not bored and we're not frustrated, um, and we can feel like we've accomplished a lot at the end of the day. So we will take a break at, in the middle, uh, and we can take breaks if we need to. Um, that's the kind of thing you might mediate towards the temp check if you really feel like you need a break, and that's an opportunity to so, um, in terms of how this agenda works, it's now 5.30. We're doing a really good job staying on track with the agenda right now. Um, I'd like there to be about 15 minutes of work group announcements, if possible. Really trying to keep that announcements to about a minute, a minute and a half you can. And then we'll flow into the next things. So, um, if our, I'm gonna, oh, one other thing I want to be clear about. I will very clearly open stack and then close stack once it's open and closed so we really know when we're in a stack taking period and, and, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to open stack to the stack keepers for work group announcements. For work room announcements, they can be more than five, just to be clear, because they're announcements, obviously. Yes, hi. Uh, I have two announcements, one for finance and one for logistics. First, uh, finance would like everyone to know that we currently have $241 in our account. Uh, two, logistics would like everyone to know that rent on our storage facility at U-Haul is due on the 20th. That will be $70, unless we have... Uh, a means of moving the stuff out or another solution proposed within the next week or so, we're going to bring a proposal to GA to ask for that $70 to be spent for storing our stuff. Thanks. I'm too. Yeah, uh, I'm Chris Dorsey with Political Action and there's many other 
<coughs> groups as I can get uh, to be a part of. Um, many of us in Occupy Richmond and Occupy the Hood have been talking and working towards occupying the state capitol. Um, it's uh, right downtown. It is less than a mile away from the original encampment. Uh, the idea we've been banting about is having a constant presence where we have legitimate meetings of the people on the outside and while the representatives of Dominion Power, Northrop Grumman, and uh, Verizon have meetings on the inside um, and point out where they're violating the law and violating people's rights. Um, also, uh, I guess uh, have been working, and uh, uh, Ron's going to say something about uh, uh, a new uh, um, working group uh, that, that uh, we started, and uh, that's it. State capital um, occupation. Thank you. Everyone, I'm Jam. Happy New Year. Um, today, thank you. Today, I'm representing the nonviolence work group. Just a quick <coughs> on Tuesday, January 10th. Here, there will be a nonviolent direct act. On Tuesday, January 10th, there will be a direct action training. There will be a nonviolent conflict resolution training here um, that is being put together by RPEC in the Wayside Center. And on the 12th, there will be a nonviolent direct action training. Um, we want to get to the gate and how many people want to be there. So just get with me by the end of the meeting and I'll make sure you're there. Thank you. That's at 530. 530, correct. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Santos, and I'm speaking on behalf of the Education and Outreach Working Group. Uh, I won't take up too much of your time because we made handouts for everyone just to keep you up to date um, on what we're doing. So I'll just uh, explain what's on the handouts. First column is a description, a brief description of each project that we have going. Second column, to do list for each project, uh, what we need to do to complete the project or to get it off the ground if it's a new one. And we have a point person in the last column for each one. We just have a name right now. Um, so if you don't know who this person is, just ask around or email us. Our contact information is down here. So I will pass these around. I was also asked to uh, rattle off just some important dates for January because it's a really busy month. Um, so tomorrow there's the uh, Virginia People, People's Assembly Conference call at 7 p.m. Um, Jam brings in the workshops going on on Tuesday and Thursday. 14th is uh, the VPA assembly all day. The 15th, a uh, small group is going to the mayor's church just to have a presence for MLK Day. There's not going to be a demonstration or anything, just to have a presence there. Um, on the 16th, will be a Federal Reserve MLK Day protest and a 5 p.m. vigil. On the 17th is Occupy Congress and the 23rd, uh, City Council with the free speech ordinance. Can we get some serious spirit fingers for education outreach? That is so solid. And I know everybody was really just feeling that way right now. <laughs> Alright, who's next? Hi, Marilyn. Um, the last thing we just mentioned was the free speech zone legislation that's on the council docket on the 23rd. Um, I'm rising to announce or encourage to be point person for um, a focusing group to deal with a variety of aspects to hopefully make sure that that legislation successfully passes. Please be in touch after the meeting. Um, there's a variety of things from hardcore lots of time to just becoming part of the effort. There will be a land use commission meeting at 3 o'clock on the 20th in advance of that where amendments, refinements, discussions, uh, testimony input will be happening. There is a need for, if we want to see it passed, to turn up the heat, uh, target specific council persons who are more likely than not going to swing. We have fairly good confidence of three votes out, out of the five required at this point. And uh, the other two will only be had if we activate and get involved. So please be in touch with me after the meeting and we'll uh, work on it together. Yeah. 
it's a clarifying statement. Uh, that legislation has already been passed, and it's in this document. It's called the, the First Amendment. We don't need these jokers from uh, okay, the city not, government. This is not on the yeah, just it's it's actually right on the subject. No, no, already this is passed. Passed. Chris, no. This is an announcement. No, and point of clarification. No, not point right. Of, okay. Point of clarification is a question, and a not a statement. Well, I just made a statement. All right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ron. Uh, I'm with uh, the Coordination Committee. Uh, we are here to help you uh, with any uh, formal proposals that you have to go to the facilitation team. We meet an hour and a half before every General Assembly. Um, we believe that the more time that we put in beforehand, the more time we can, um, the better we can use your time. Um, so if you have any formal proposals, we can help you out with those and give them to the facilitation team. If anybody would like to help with this or have any questions, you can contact me. The email address is occupyrva.coco at gmail.com. Hey everyone, what's up? I'm Josh with Media. A um, couple quick updates for you. Um, we are working on a website specifically about GA called rbaga.org. Should be up in a couple weeks to a month, but it's going to get like in the, the real details about how our processes work, uh, when meetings are. I think it may potentially have like a social networking system built into it just for activists, which would be kind of cool. Um, I'm getting scared fingers from Jeremy, so I guess that was a good statement to make. Um, and then other than that, just a couple things to help as you know, you see Education Outreach to tonight with lists and Facilitation to tonight with lists. We're going to provide you all with some lists, so specifically for event guidelines. And a lot of people are always wondering why media isn't getting out the events fast enough, and we're wondering why y'all aren't getting the events to us fast enough. So we put together some guidelines. Those will be on our website by tomorrow night or the next night. And we will also have a handout for you at the next GA. Um, specifically regarding Facebook, um, just to give everyone a quick update about how um, Facebook's going to operate from now on. If you have a worker meeting and you guys want it promoted on the Occupy Richmond Facebook page, go ahead and make that event under your worker page. And then once we see that, once you send it to us, we'll get that up on the Google calendars on the website and then we're happy to share that with the community at large. Um, and then also... Um, submission guidelines for notes, minutes, and info. We already had one question about where, the, where have the notes been, where have the minutes been. We haven't been getting a lot of them. So um, we would request that scribes at every work group meeting as well as at every GA go ahead and email those notes and minutes to media. Um, and we would also really, really request that whoever is scribing or taking those minutes write like a paragraph blurb summary at the bottom. And then we're going to get that up onto the website as a blog post that people who don't feel like navigating 857 sentences of sort of incoherent language can get the gist of what actually happened at the meeting. And that way it's all on the website, we're all on the same page, and ideally most of our communication problems will be at least somewhat ameliorated. Am I missing anything, media? One, one thing I'd like to mention, we passed a proposal at the last GA saying we wanted to create two calendars, one for non-official stuff and one for official stuff. That has been completed and you can see the results on the website. So when, when you submit something to us, we need to know whether or not it has GA approval so that we can know which calendar to put it on. And that way everybody's events can be broadcast. Nice, thanks. Thank you, John. I think that's it for work group announcements. We got one more. Facilitation um, work group is currently working to um, work out a lot of issues with facilitation and we want as many people to come that are interested in facilitating to come before GA, whenever that may be, at 3.30 um, before GA, <coughs> every GA. So they're going to work out with proposals and how and the format and all that stuff every single time so it can run as smooth as possible. And if you're also interested in more information or maybe, maybe helping train or getting trained or any of that stuff, Isaac is the point person for facilitation and we can get even more stuff going for that. There you go. And we're working on a handout to, to make it very, very clear and simple as to what the GA process is in facilitation. Okay, awesome. Um, can it be, is it a work announcement or yep. can it stay in the announcement at the end? Um, facilities booking. Um, 
for all work groups, they've already announced early meetings here at the meeting house on Sundays. Uh, as the person that coordinates and liaisons with the meeting in terms of calendar, the meeting house is available, generally speaking, on Sundays after 1 p.m., 2 p.m. for sure, so that if you want to have a work group meeting here earlier in the day, or if you're interested in or already working on possibly lining up other spaces, please be in touch so we can network and open up as many places to as many of the work groups as possible. I know there's a need there, but all work groups need to be aware that the meeting house is available for sure from 2 o'clock from now until the end of February for meeting use. And there's more than one room in the building. So please let me know, be in touch. Clarifying question? Um, will it just automatically be unlocked, or do you have to meet no, with you? No, you need to meet. Just <laughs> you need to just be in touch, and in most cases, I'll tell you the code, and it's really sweet. And you can just let yourself in. <laughs> All right, and there's one more announcement from awareness and accountability. Uh, yeah, uh, many moons ago, awareness and accountability session was uh, passed, and thank God it was. It has since morphed into a solutions based entity that will help us deal with relating and becoming aware of internal problems. Everyone is encouraged to pour your energies into this group so that um, our ability to relate to one another may continue to grow and grow and grow. Our solidarity with one another is the key. So meet with me after the meeting for a little more insight into what we will be doing for the 2012 year. Thank you. All right. All right. Work group announcements are done and we are still <laughs> on track. So this is good. Um, before we roll into informal proposals uh, and the proposal section.